Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to another video here on the channel and I'm really excited in this video today to give you a first look at the recently announced Win Wing FCU unit for the Airbus A320. Now this unit comes hot on the heels of the Mini FCU from Mini Cockpits. Many of you ordering that over recent months and starting to take delivery of them as well. We we of course have showcased the Mini FCU here on this channel before and I am a happy and proud user of the Mini FCU but this new product the Winwing A320 FCU is what we're going to be looking at today and of course we will be comparing the two. Now at the time of making this video the Winwing A320 FCU is currently available for pre-order. It is not yet shipping and I have been sent this unit by Winwing for this video so a thanks to them for supplying me early with one of their units. Since this unit's release was announced I was inundated by emails and messages on our Discord server asking me what I thought about this so I'm really happy to delve into to this product and give you my feedback hopefully answering any questions you may have as I know many of you have already ordered this product without seeing it yet up close and working. I'm sure there will be pros and cons with this unit and I'd love to hear your feedback as well in the comment section down below as we go through the video. Now obviously I'm based in the UK and I believe the custom import fees for this were about £11 and you can see that it comes securely packaged with the two brackets, an allen key, all the screws needed and also some soft pads for the feet as well if you wish to use them. It's not particularly heavy, I'd say a fraction heavier than the Mini FCU but the thing that you really notice when you get your hands on this for the first time is as I have been used to the Mini FCU, this thing looks absolutely huge. Of course, it's not. It's the exact same size as a real FCU found in a real Airbus. But because I've been used to the mini version, which is about 80% the size of the real one, this full real sized FCU unit did look rather large. Now one of the first things that jumped out at me is obviously that blank button there where you'd normally expect to see the expedite button. This is omitted on this unit. However, it is still a button so you can press it and will presumably be able to assign it to something. This unit is obviously cheaper than the Mini Cockpits FCU and lots of people have been asking me then what I thought about the build quality and how that would be reflected due to the lower cost in price. Well to be fair I'm really happy to tell you that this unit feels really solid. The rotary dials are really not stiff but that's definitely not flimsy and so it's not something that you're just going to be able to catch or move without deliberately doing so. So I was actually rather impressed with the build quality of this unit. Looking at the detail of the unit then all of the rotary knobs etc feel just as they should nice and sturdy so that's good but all of the text I noticed the white text you can see here it is printed on rather than engraved or etched into the unit where it is in the real aircraft and it's also like that on the mini FCU. The box though contains no documentation or at least the version I have been sent hasn't so we're going to have to head online to see what to do next. On the WinWing website then select the product and you'll see here we've got options for the manual and also dimensions if you want to check those out as well. Here is the manual and it's nothing fancy but then to be honest it really doesn't need to be. What did concern me at this point is that at the moment no driver for this unit was available but we'll get into that shortly. The build instructions are pretty simple, simply attach the two side brackets using the provided screws and allen key and yeah that's it. It's pretty much uh, simple and a straightforward job. There are multiple ways though of actually attaching these brackets depending on how your home cockpit is set. This will sit on the desk quite nicely like this but also you can mount it using the other mounting positions on the back explained in the manual so it will slot into any sort of pre-built home cockpit that you currently have going on. 
So with my FCU unit now built, it was time to plug it in using the supplied USB cable and see what it looked like and how well it worked. But with no driver obviously available on the WinWing website, it seems that you need to go to the download center and all of the units run through something called Sim App Pro. So we'll download this, get this installed and have a look how it works. Now, at this point, I've got to be completely honest, I started to get a little bit frustrated here just because this doesn't seem to be completely self-explanatory. There are lots of different options within this app. And for those of you who already use WinWing products and are familiar with this, that's great. But a lot of people will be purchasing this unit having never used WinWing before because most of their products are geared towards DCS and other military kinds of hardware setups. I guess maybe naively I was expecting to be able to find this unit in the software somewhere, download a driver and it would all work. But actually that was not the case. In fact, it wasn't until I actually plugged in the device that a option for the device became available. And here it is, as you can now see on screen. And basically all this was is a configuration page. This basically is I press the various buttons, turn the rotary knobs, push the push-pull levers, etc. They um, replicate on screen, as you can see, I'm, uh, I'm doing that here. And that was all this page did. It wasn't any kind of uh, driver installation, but at least it meant that it is communicating correctly with the PC. So let's first of all now go and have a look to see what the unit looks like when it's all turned on. So here it is. Um, on first impressions, of course, looks uh, great. The thing that stuck out for me is the fact that the lights, the LCD displays, are not quite as accurate as the Mini Cockpit FCU in that you can see that they're basically just a normal uh, quartz digital display where Airbus do have kind of their own little font going on. So that's, uh, that's a small difference, but of course not a major deal breaker. The big thing for me though, and I'm not sure it comes across quite as well in this video as it would do perhaps in real life, is these values are very orange. Now, this has the intensity of these lights turned up to full, so it's even more orange than normal. Here you can see a comparison with a real photo from a real A320 FCU, and it's a little bit more tailored back, and perhaps even a touch yellow. We're maybe splitting hairs, but I do think that the color of this isn't quite right. And when you compare it to the Mini FCU, which is a little bit paler, I do prefer the Mini FCU colorization of the display. But again, I'd love to hear your thoughts on uh, on that as well down below. And funnily enough, looking at the two pictures to compare them, notice the expedite button or lack thereof. Yes, some of the newer A320s don't actually have this function. So to be fair to WinWing, they've actually modeled this quite well on a newer version of the A320 FCU. So a burning question I know many of you have got is how does this unit compare with the mini cockpit FCU? Obviously, as you can see, here are both of them sat side by side. Now, one of the things I really do like about the wind wing is the angle that it actually sits at. It sits at a 71 degree angle, which actually mimics the real Airbus FCU in it, the real aircraft, where of course the mini FCU just basically at the moment, certainly as I've got it here, is just sat on my desk and not mounted at all. It does mean that the display is facing you head on, which is really nice. The tactile feel of the WinWing FCU compared to the Mini Cockpit FCU is pretty similar to be honest so I'm not going to split hairs over those two they both work really well I do like the fact that I think there's more detail in the Mini Cockpit's Mini FCU than there is the WinWing FCU the etching of the text on the unit itself and on the buttons I just like that but again that is splitting hairs and probably won't be the same for everybody. 
Let's have a look then at the difference in size. We've already said, obviously, the Mini FCU is smaller, but it is a lot deeper. Now, this will obviously depend upon your own personal setup. I'd love to hear from you guys again down in the comments below which of those would work best for you. For me, at the moment, my Mini FCU just slides neatly underneath my monitors, whereas the Wind Wing would not be able to do that, so I would have to have that sat in front. I guess it all depends on how much space you've got as to which unit is going to be better for you. If we have a look at the fonts, then you might just be able to see what I was talking about earlier in that the Mini FCU, the font is much more accurate to the real Airbus compared to the Wind Wing FCU. But again, it is a minor detail that I'll leave you to decide whether it's something that would actually bother you. So getting back into the simulator then, what about actually using the Wind Wing FCU unit in Microsoft Flight Simulator? Well, unfortunately, I was left rather disappointed at this point. And that is simply because at the time of filming this video, the driver for this unit and its compatibility with Microsoft Flight Simulator isn't currently available. Now, don't worry too much because according to their website, this month that driver should be released. And then I will be able to revisit the unit and showcase this unit off to you again, hopefully in the very near future with it actually working. So after showing you everything in this video, I would love you guys to leave a comment down below letting me know on your initial thoughts of this unit. The pros and cons for me, the Win Wing over the Mini FCU, obviously it is bigger, it is full scale, a one-on-one -on -one replica, and actually I really do like that. It does look huge when you've been used to the uh, Mini FCU, but you get used to it very quickly, and I do like the fact that it is real size. I think it is very, very well built. So the fact that it is half the price of the mini FCU, which of course is another big plus, the fact that it is half the price, it doesn't seem like the quality of it has been compromised. However, there are a couple of cons. Number one for me is the installation process. I do prefer the much simpler plug and play version that the mini FCU has. That was just very, very easy to do. This, I suppose we're gonna have to wait and see until its full compatibility with Microsoft Flight Simulator is released, but it's definitely at the moment looks more complicated than its smaller counterpart. The detail that you get in the Mini FCU is I think better than that of the Win Wing FCU, but they are small details as I highlighted in this video. So it's gonna be up to you whether that is much of a deal breaker for you. Until then, of course, we're just sat on the ground and we're going to have to wait before we can take to the skies with this new unit. And I look forward to doing that with you watching very soon. Thanks so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to leave a like. And of course, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and of course, our live streamed flights. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye for now.